Dear brothers and sisters, I'm delighted once again to share with you a few thoughts on a weekly basis in reference to our brothers and sisters who are living in Lebanon. Forty days have already passed since the horrible explosion in Beirut. When I received the news, I called a close friend of mine. I felt that he was devastated. They took from us everything, home, job, savings, and even hope, he said. There is nothing anymore to stay in this country. Literally, I was speechless. I knew this person since the beginning of the Civil War of Lebanon, 1975. He had witnessed more severe and black days, but never I have heard anything like this. In virtue of my vocation, I was supposed to comfort strengthen and encourage him. But for the first time, I felt myself that I need that inner re-energizing power. A few days later, from the same person, I received a text message, which I'd like to share with you. It reads, Never lose hope. Just when you think it is over, God sends you a miracle. Amen. I could not believe how this transformation had taken place. Nevertheless, it was a fact which had happened with my friend. And that's how the miracle started to impact on the life of our brothers and sisters in Lebanon, as well as on us. In light of this transformation, I came to understand deeper St. Paul when he was writing to the Corinthians. The apostle says, We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, of the affliction which we experience in Asia. For we were so utterly, unbearably crushed that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death so that we would rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. He who rescued us from so deadly a peril will continue to rescue us. On him we have set our hope that he will rescue us again. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, hope is having something unperishable when we don't have anything. In this sense, I know that how the power, the miracle of hope is indeed great. It's a new beginning when we think that almost we have to a dead end. I wish I could say a few more things about hope, but because our video producer, our lovely Greg Dosurian, who's smiling now, already signaled me that I shouldn't exceed five minutes, I would like to conclude my words by saying that I am so grateful that with the cooperation of our clergy brothers and with the generous donations of all our parishioners and friends, our fundraising has reached 324,931 dollars. Today, we have made our sixth transfer in the amount of $50,000. As a reminder, 
I would like to say that this sum is distributed to all our brothers and sisters under the supervision of Lebanon Central Coordinating Committee headed by Archbishop Shahi Panosyan, the prelate. May God bless all of us and lead in hope to reach out all those who are in needy at large.